Hi guys, welcome to your, this is going to be the What Are They Telling You, the July 2021 What Are They Telling You, timeless reading week one bonus for the beautiful sign of Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is the bonus. This is meant to be watched as an accompanying video to um, the main video, which you're going to see. Um, so please keep that in mind. It is designed to give you a little bit more. Okay. It is not designed to give you the full scope, but give you a little bit more in addition to that. Okay. Everybody gets a bonus and the, the top view, top three view videos on the channel from week to week will be basically get an extended bonus for purchase. Um, if you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good fam bams and hello to my members and patrons. Um, yes. So the holiday and everything did push everything back, but not to worry. If you are one of those individuals that cannot watch a video because it says week one, but I'm not giving you a timeline. I'm just saying week one. So when you watch it, that's your week one. But if you have an issue with that, then maybe this isn't the video for you because that is how my, um, that's how I go. So each video, each, each week will give you a block of videos for all 12 signs. One main video, one bonus video, and that's how it's going to go. So now that we've gotten that out the way, let's go ahead and get started. Um, what we do is I take the same romantic intentions um, that was clarified or that came out in the first video. And basically, you can look at this as an extension of that if you're interested in how this person feels. The first deck is designed for people who don't really speak to the person if you haven't spoken to that person in more than a month. The second deck is designed for those of you who are speaking to this person, but the communication still isn't going in the way. And this is going to drive me nuts. Um, the communication is still is still not going um, in the way that what you would like. It doesn't have a lot to do with your feelings. It doesn't have a lot to do. And it's really leaving you confused, if, especially if you want to get back with this person, Aries. So. Aries, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is give you the clarifiers again, just in case. So you don't have to memorize them from the main video. We do have retreat time to walk away to find yourself. Okay. We do have soulmates. We do have in the heart place. Come to me. Okay. We do have stand by me. This is, I swear to God, guys, it feels like something is like on my eye and I can't stand it. Okay. Stand by me. <laughs> we actually also have, if I can pick it up, control, feeling, feeling trapped or a loss of self-respect. Um, if you remember or you have recognized what that particular card um, clarified in the first video, um, this this is a lot. Let me explain. Then we do have weather out the storm. And then we do have clarity. Clear your thoughts to see what's in front of you. All right. First of all, where are we? Okay. Okay. Aries, um, unfortunately you and this person, you guys are soulmates. If you're resonating with this already, if you hear the hesitation in my voice, it has a lot to do with this control. Um, you are obviously the realm. You have to go first. You already know enough about you, but you don't necessarily take kindly when it's done to you. You're not going to be controlled. You're not going to be told what to do and when to do it. That's just not how you, that's not how you, you roll. And I feel that, um, cause this, I, I swear to God, I don't know what's going on. I feel that a lot of back and forth between you guys, um, it makes you hollow inside when you constantly have to go back and forth and fight someone for who they are. It then turns into if you met me and liked me and we went this far and now you have a problem with the very same thing that you liked. It's like, what's the problem? You know what I'm saying? It feels very much so like you guys have definitely fought one another. 
Um, and this is a fight on t controlling the other person. I don't like when you do this. Don't do that. Or and then after a while, either you get you begin to resent the very same thing that you like the person for in the beginning. And that seems like that is where this has went. Um, Stand by me is indicating that obviously somebody you have fought. This person has fought to stay by your side. Um, this person wants to weather out the storm, but this person is really confused and needs clarity because they're so trapped in feelings of regret. Um, and they're so trapped feeling regretful for things that have happened between you. It's hard for them just to love you. And let's face it, depending on where your Aries is in your chart, Love, depending on, again, where the Aries is, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, you're not necessarily, you can come off to this person. I mean, let's call a spade a spade, very controlling. So this person feels trapped or lost in this relationship, Aries. They don't know whether they're coming or going. <coughs> and... If they're saying that they had to walk away to go and find themselves, then they feel lost in this relationship and they, they need clarity. So they're in a situation right now where they're feeling a little all over the place. OK. Retreat is being clarified by I'm ready to take off the mask and be real with you. They could be feeling like this is what you're doing. Are we going to start already? Oh, yes, we are. Sorry, guys. They could be feeling like uh, 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 uh. you are the one that's wearing the false self mask. Or maybe they wore the false self mask to please you because the way in which you move can make them feel like they're not good enough or it can make them feel like you have other options. People, there are some people that don't like to compete. And if I feel like you have other options and it's not about me and you, which can, I mean, depending on how that's derived, that's in itself a problem because I'm not going to be motivated to deal with you. If I feel like no matter what I do and say, you're going to have three and four different options. Um, some people just don't like that. They're not in this to compete Com competition and competing is easy for you Aries, but not as easy for this individual. And if th that's, and, and again, it can go both ways in this bonus today, but that's what, that's what they're feeling like. Okay. Soulmates. They feel like you guys have a connection and you connected on the level. Oh my goodness. What is going on this morning? All right. So I got to do some maneuvering to get this one because not only did it move and go all the way across the other part by the tripod. One second. Okay. This better be a good card to have me go through all of this. <laughs> I tried to replace you. Then I realized that you are irreplaceable and now you are gone. So they feel like either they tried to walk away and replace you because they felt that they could no longer be in competition um, with you or your lifestyle or the external parties in your life. Um, and they feel like, you know, they tried to replace you. Maybe they tried to walk into inside of self-care. Maybe they tried to do a lot of things or maybe you did. Um, I don't know yet until we get into the main video, but I do feel like they tried to replace you and they realized that you are irreplaceable and now they feel like you're gone. Okay. Clarify, come to me. They would like for you to come back to them. Come back to me. I'm feeling Janet Jackson. I need more time to heal and love myself. Um, you could have definitely attracted a person um, that is not as mentally strong. Maybe they were looking for you to 
comfort them and nurture them. Um, maybe they felt that you did not stand by them and support them the way that they wanted Aries. And that is being clarified by, I get scared if I'm being honest with you. So they were afraid. And it could have been some things that that's in your behavior that triggered old relationships with them, but they were scared. Sometimes, I, <laughs> wow, wow, spirit, if you ain't talking to me today, come on now, hold on. Controlling. Sometimes I think you can be a little controlling and that pushes me away. That is exactly what this is. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that, that we don't make that up. So that's exactly what this is. Um, this person is saying that you want to control the narrative. I didn't want to speak out of turn, but now it's here. That's what they feel like. And they love you. They feel like, although you are the way that you are and things didn't work, they love you, but they're afraid based upon the way in which you move and the way that you have uh, shown them who you are, that they want you to weather out the storm with them. You will always have a place in my heart. Back to that. They feel that you won't stand by them, that like the way there's something in what you're doing that makes them feel very insecure. Now, yes, they do get scared. So half of this insecurity lives within them. Don't get me wrong, but there's something very triggering in your behavior that makes them feel like you'll leave. And let's face it, Aries, you like the chase. And if, if you don't get that chase or if something isn't stimulating you, and it gets too mushy, you're you like, look, um, I can't do this, especially depending on where your where your Aries placement is. Now, if you are an Aries sun, you may the moons are always a little bit different because no matter what else, it, it works the same way, but the moon is such a huge part of who you are and has all these other implications. Like I swear I wish sometime I could just do a moon series. I just don't have time, but that moon is going to be a little bit different because if you have a moon in Aries, you have a completely different personality. You may mean well, you may not mean to make this person feel this way. Hell, you may not make, may, may not want to make the person feel this way, no matter where that placement is. But what I'm saying I feel me personally as a reader that when you have that energy in your moon, that is who you are. And it's going to be harder to change who you are. That's how you love. And you may not mean to do it, but the thing that attracted this person to you may be the very exact same thing that they hate about you, but they love you at the same time. So it's like, you can't go inside of a, a doctor's office and was like, okay, I don't want to be an Aries moon anymore. It doesn't work that way. So I feel like if you have a moon there, cause you, I mean, you can, you can change your personality. You can temper, you can temper the moon, but that's who you are. That is how you emote. And you have to do a lot of shadow work to, to change that moon. Cause that's like changing. It's like trying to change your rising sign. You can't, you know what I'm saying? Your personality, like, so your communication, your personality, you could change certain things about, you know, let me change this. I personally feel like who you are at your core and how you emote and your love nature. Those are very, very, they're harder than Mercury, than even the sun, than those are, you know what I'm saying? So, okay, I'm, I'm done with that, with the, off that, um, I'm off of that soapbox clarity. I can't stop thinking about you. You are in my dreams. Let's move on Aries. Cause I really wasn't trying to have this to go that long. I got a whole nother deck. I see my future. When I look in your eyes, we belong together and yes, I want to be with you. So what's obviously standing out to me is that this person really feels like you are a little controlling and that pushes them away. 
You have every right to feel the way that you're going to feel. Nobody is telling you not to be yourself. I'm just saying that if you have been arguing or not seeing eye to eye with this person about who you are, um, there's nothing more irritating than a person that is trying to convince you that they're not the way that you perceive and their actions completely support the very thing that the person is, is doing. Um, I don't like that. I find that in water fire combinations, it drives me up a wall. Um, you are who you are. You may not like the way it sounds. You may need not, you may not like the words. That's that fire air. You may, you, I don't care if you don't like the words, what's done is done. So, you know, if it, it's simple, I mean, I know it's very cut and dry and a lot of people may not like the cut and dryness of it, but it is what it is. Don't try if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Like, I know it may look like a dog, but, you know, some of us, you know, you, you can't convince somebody that the sky isn't blue. And it is just because you don't like the way it sounds. So you may run into that. You guys may be arguing about that. I hope not. Retreat is being clarified by our love overwhelms and frightens me. I do not feel worthy. And the reason why they don't feel worthy is because of this control. They feel trapped. Um, control can make you feel like you're not good enough because I want you to change everything about you. Everything that you that I was attracted to change all of it. I don't like it. And that is how this person is feeling. Soulmates is being clarified by... I always talk to you. It brings you peace. This person wants to be a part of your life. Now, remember with this deck, you talk to this person. That's why I say, as I always talk to you, it brings me peace. You guys speak and it brings peace here, but to love you the way they want to love you really, really triggers them because they really feel like they're going to lose you. They feel like it's a losing battle. Loving you is a losing battle. Karmic lessons. I am very weak. How do I heal to move forward? I must feel this pain. Um, this person po possibly had a thing where when they would feel something instead of talking to you, they would run away. And now it has caused issues. Stand by me. Although I left you stand by me. Higher vibrations and raise your energy and spirit, my darling, please heal. So what they're saying is, is that although they're coming to the table with some things too, Aries, they're saying that you also have some things in your energy um, that needs to be healed. And yeah, control, clarify that. Spirit, clarify that. Show me, please. Okay. I took you for granted and I am truly sorry. Will you forgive me? So yes, there are some parts of you again that they like and they do feel like they took you for granted and they are truly sorry and they want your forgiveness, but they're really coming to the table and saying, when you do this, it triggers me. I'm sorry if I took you for granted and made you feel X, Y, and Z as well. However, you know, we need to meet in the middle. I still want you to come to me, stand by me. If you can just convince me that you're not going to leave me, if, if you can, because they're saying that their insecurities is because of what you're not doing. They feel like you're going to leave and let's face it. You do become bored and you be like, uh, I ain't dealing with this. <laughs> Clarify weather out the storm, please. Sorry. I'm having trouble hearing you. I'm not even talking. I, and I don't even have, when this series a uh, voice change to a man, I didn't do that. <laughs> I miss you. No matter how long it takes, if my heart breaks, I will always love you. That is beautiful. And you are too good for me. Oh, look at that. Letting go of the, feel yeah, they feel unworthy of your love. Now, I'm going to tell you, Aries, you don't have, listen, both parties, you don't have to deal with either party because I feel that this is deep, but I also feel like this is um, some things that have happened in between you guys resides within each other. Like this person is coming. I mean, they're weak. They want to heal. They feel like that, like they're going back and forth. So if this is confusing for you and this person feels like I don't really, really even want to say this like a nut job <laughs> or, you know, I really, it's not funny, but 
It just feels like there's a lot of insecurity here. So I feel like this. If you're in love with this person or you still have feelings for this person, then the, the, the problem is or the thing to do would be to get to the root of the insecurity on both ends and then come together. Because on one hand, they took you for granted when they tried to replace you and realized that you were irreplaceable. But on the other hand, it's like they have some deep rooted insecurities and I'm not going to sit back and blame all that on you. It feels like very much so half of that existed when they came to the party. Okay. When they met you, they had these things like we all do. So that's what it's feeling like. Clarity is you are my soul's anchor and you ground me. So this person loves you. They feel like you guys will reunite in the end. They feel like you guys will learn from your karma um, because past mistakes become your greatest teacher. And again, we have karmic wounds. It's not abandonment. One day I will return. I don't really feel like this person walked, uh, that they abandoned you. I feel like they, they left. You, 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 they, they felt controlled by you. You could have been trying to help. You could have been trying to say, Hey, you know, that, we we can't do that or we can't do this or don't. And it just felt overwhelming because no one really likes to be controlled or even feel like every little thing that they do is wrong, no matter what they're doing that's wrong. So like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Like this was a lot. You guys are really going through some deep things right now. Um, I don't necessarily see the regret, but maybe it will come out. If you're watching this, you will see it in the main video and vice versa. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Thank you so much. I will see you in a couple days when, let me see where you, the vote is posted, but let me see where you are, Aries. I will see you in the, I definitely will see you in a couple days when I bring you your uh, week two video. Bye guys.